I'm just doing all this now. Cleaning all of that out. I've got rid of all the stuff off the floor. All the um, underlay stuff. This part of the floor here is good. <laughs> but there's only that bit here from there. It's about here that's holding all of this on. To need to go and get the floor, order the floor, and the inner cell for the time being. So this is what I'm doing. Starting in here, in there mainly. So, <coughs> oh. it's a bit awkward in here though, because there's loads of sharp bits of metal that keeps digging in my leg. Cleaning up all in there. It's really sunny out there. I gotta do a bit there, right up over there, and that little hole in the corner there. So that's what I've got to do at the moment. Um, and I'm starting to get all of this off the side here, preparing all this floor because obviously I'm keep all that's got to be kept. And I'll be back with you when I've started doing some more work. And now just take about to repair this bit all the way up to there. So that's how far I've got. I've started cleaning everything up. I've got to get all that white primer off. That was only on there temporarily. So this is where I'm working now, all underneath here. Uh, cleaning in there. But my main focus at the moment is there. So, actually, I've cleaned all up there. All in there. I'm just going to put a new piece of metal from that hole straight across. And I'll show you when I've done that. So, that's what it looks like at the minute. Yeah. Back soon. Another day. That's what I did. Last time I was working in here, I just got to grind them down a bit. I am now going into that corner. But look how good all that looks. That's the parts that be kept. All up there's repaired around the exterior uh, column area. I had to bend that back, put the new metal in and bend it back over again. I've just got that bit, that hole up there to fix. A couple of little pinholes there. And obviously all up there is where I'm keeping and then it, all this will be getting cut out when the new floor goes in and I'll start making this section. But I think that looks great. Get in there, all in that corner there, all this has been treated. All in there has been treated. Because obviously those bits I'm keeping and repairing and then I've got to take the outer door post skins off, not yet. I'm going to start cleaning a bit more over there and get some more work done in there. So, have a good look and then I'll bring you back when I've done some more. I've even managed to keep all of the shapes. Yeah, that's what it is at the moment. I'll be back with you when I've done some more. I'm back at working on this. Hoping to get this job done. And then I can move over there. I've had to borrow a wilder but it's only a small one does the job but hopefully i'll have mine coming soon i right, to so get another flux core um so that's it my, my grinder brushes went as well i'm a big grinder not having much luck finish up and do some over there but this side's nearly done get in there looks really good it's a really hot day today I'll be back with you shortly in there it's finished it's all been seam sealed painted now I've just got to do down here and over there so all that is repaired, 
all up the tops done all the cross hairs done I've just got to do it over there all of that in there so that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days obviously there's still a few bits and bobs I've got to do but all in there is done All in around there has been seam, re seam sealed. All around that. Up there has been seam sealed all the way across. Up there. Everywhere where it was before. Uh, I've got to seam seal that and paint that. Give up there a little bit of a sand and paint that. Because it's the old white paint that was on the metal that I put in. In there. It's all rush treated. So in there is ready to start having the inner sill put on. But obviously I've still got to remove these outer bits and repair in there. Uh, work my way around. So this is a little update. Done. Pretty much done. And down there it's got to be done. Um, I had to redo here again a little bit because the metal that was on the inside had to be folded under, through and under here. So that bit's done. Um, what else is there? I think that's it. That's just in there to be done. Tomorrow I'm going to go as in Sunday, I'm going to go and fetch my rear axle and a windshield. Uh, I've had also delivered middle exhaust and back box. Um, I've got my chassis rails. I've got my power steering pump. So all the parts are piling in. All the main stuff. So... Get in there, getting close to being, well not finished, <laughs> long way off that, but that is the bulkhead done, the bulkhead's finished, no more work to be done on the bulkhead now, uh, apart from a little hole at the top, but I'll do that when I do the lip for the um, scuttle area. So obviously I've got to do the bottom scuttle as well, but I can't do that until I've took the outer door posts off Because I've got to repair in there first once them are done and back on with the inner sills I can then start Doing the um, Bottom and top scuttle And then I'm gonna get a tin of a uh, cosmos blue And I'm gonna paint inside where the window goes so that I can get the window put back in because if I paint where the window goes ready then the glass can go in and then when I come to paint the car I could just mask up the window because inside the frames have already been done then ain't they I'm looking forward to getting the glass back in I'm actually looking forward to getting a front end on it <laughs> I haven't seen it with one all that uh, paint over there, the black paint is drying. But all, once all this repair is done in this floor, the whole thing's been painted in, um, oh, what's it called? Um, is it amorite? Or I can just do it in that black stone chip? No, I'll find, I'll find something nice to use. And then obviously the floor deadening will go down. I can't wait for all that to start happening. Anyway, I'll um, get back to you in the next one. I just wanted to show you some progress. Because obviously I haven't been able to upload a video in a while. Because obviously my welder packed in again. Um, I've had to borrow one off my brother-in-law. Which is a pretty good welder considering it's only a small one. 
um, and I've ordered one and I've got one coming so I've just got to wait for that to arrive hopefully soon but in the meantime I'll continue using my brother-in-law's one so yeah, please like and subscribe oh I've noticed that most of my viewers are not subscribed um, if you like the content please subscribe it really good will help the channel out um because i got 620 now and obviously if i'm successful on there then if i make any money off youtube i'll put it on into court now into the court scene which will help me along a lot quicker and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe so it just let you know you know let you know and notifications when i upload a video so yeah Bye-bye. See, see you again soon.